Hey, welcome back. So from the great food and amazing views, the Siena and New Haven is one of the Elm City's favorite spots. And we are getting a look at why People Magazine call it the most beautiful restaurant in our state. Live, Marcy is joining us now from there. How's it going, Mars? It's going fantastic. I am here with my new friend, Chef Foster Lucas. You just put out a couple dishes. Literally, Victor just finished shaving the Parmesan. It is so fresh. It smells so incredible. Take us through, really, before we get to these two specific dishes, sure. what you really wanted to put out on the plates every single night and day for your guests. What's so important to you as the chef here? So we take uh, Italian cuisine. That's the starting point. And it's really all about the seasonality of the food. So right now we're enjoying the bounty of summer. And in a, you know maybe a month we'll start to transition into fall. But it's really, it's not about dovetailing what we want to do onto the plate. It's what's coming to us that's great right. and letting it speak because it's just great. Fantastic. And I spot some corn and some tomatoes, which yeah. I know are summertime friends. Yeah. So tell us about uh, this this one first. Okay, this is so this is our sweet, sweet corn ravioli. It's just a uh, very simple uh, sweet corn that we cook until it's bursting with sweetness. Mm -hmm. Some ricotta, some Parmesan, and that's it. And then um, when we make our sauce, it's uh, some bacon, some more corn, okay. some cherry tomatoes. I, you can't hear her, but my executive producer, Becky's in my ear going, yum. Well, <laughs> where's Becky? I'm sure everybody, <laughs> yeah, where is Becky? I'm sure everybody at home is drooling. And then what do we have on, on top there? Those are called popcorn shoots. So oh, cool. basically it's uh, before the corn t turns into corn plant, it's yeah. just a little baby corn. No way, yeah. so you're really incorporating all of the corn into that dish, yeah. I love that. And then what do we have here? This is our uh, tuna and watermelon crudo. Mm -hmm. um, this is uh, Chef Victor's creation. Uh, so we have some compressed watermelon, which really intensifies that watermelon texture and flavor. Uh, some fresh yellowfin tuna with um, a charred scallion vinaigrette with a little bit of yuzu juice, which is a Japanese uh, citrus. Mm -hmm. So we're really, you know, we're not limited to just the classic Italian stuff, although we do have that too. Yeah. I like how you kind of play into it, then you get a little modern, then you come right back to traditional. Yep. Now, when you have a restaurant like this that just got named Connecticut's most beautiful restaurant by People Magazine, does that kind of, not up the ante, because I know that you're already operating at a very high level here, but you know, the, you want the ambiance to match the food and vice versa. So to right. have something like that, I mean, that's gotta be such a compliment to you and the sure. whole, experience that you provide all your guests, right? Yeah, it really makes us take it to the next level. You know, it's not, you can't just put anything on a plate. It has right. to be, live up to the surroundings, you know, or we're, you know, on the same level as the surroundings. Yes. So, you know, not to rush time, but what are some things that you're looking forward to as we transition out of summer into fall? What are some things that we might see pop up on the menu here at Siena? Um, definitely uh, winter squash. Uh, honey nut squash is like mm -hmm. a sweeter, smaller version of the butternut squash. Yep. So that's always a classic. We'll do that with the ravioli. Okay. And probably also some maybe salmon dish. Or, okay. You know, we like you to use... You brought up squash. It is in the gourd family. What are your thoughts on pumpkin spice? I uh, have to know from a chef's perspective. I don't think I can say it on TV. It? Oh! oh, no, Chef Lucas. We were just talking the other day about how so many people are excited for pumpkin spice, but it's not for everyone. It's good for a candle. Okay, it's good for a candle. <laughs> Let's keep it at that. I always say that you can kind of separate people into three fall flavors. You're either an apple person, a maple person, or a pumpkin person. What would you choose? Definitely maple. There it is. All right. Well, thank you so much. Come visit them here at Siena. So fabulous in the Blake Hotel in downtown New Haven. Thank you so much, Chef. You, I can't wait to it. dig in. Bon appetit. Bon appetit is right. Thanks, Marcy. Oh, that stuff looks so good. I know. All right. We hope you'll join.